Hi, I'm Brian from Relish. Today I want to show you just how easy it is to cook and enjoy America's favorite nut, the chestnut. When buying chestnuts, look for nuts that are shiny, free from mold and worm holes, and hard to the touch, not soft. Whole chestnuts are a piece of cake to roast in the oven, over the grill or an open fire, or even cook on the stovetop in water or a liquid of your choice. No matter which method you choose, the first step is to score and soak the whole chestnuts. You can use a sharp kitchen or paring knife to score the chestnuts. My favorite tool is a sharp box cutter. Simply grip the chestnut with one hand and score an X pattern into one side, about an eighth of an inch into the chestnut. This will penetrate both the inner and outer skin and prevent the chestnut from exploding as it roasts. It'll also make the chestnut really easy to peel once it's ready. Now that the chestnuts are scored, the only thing left to do before cooking is to soak them in a bowl of cold water for about 45 minutes. You can do these plain or add a little salt or your favorite seasoning. Okay, so our chestnuts have been soaking for about 45 minutes and they're ready to cook. I'm gonna show you three simple ways to do it. The first way to cook chestnuts is to roast them right in the oven. I've preheated the oven to 425 degrees, lined a sheet tray with aluminum foil to make cleanup easy, and now we'll roast them for about 15 or 20 minutes, depending on the size, until they're lightly browned, the shells have opened, and they're nice and tender. The second way, and perhaps the easiest, is to boil them right on the stove top. I placed them in a pot covered with cold water. You can add your favorite flavorings, fresh herbs, or seasonings here too if you like. And we'll just simmer them for about 15 or 20 minutes until the shells start to open and the chestnuts inside are nice and tender. The third way, and probably the most flavorful way, if you have the time, is to cook them right over a fire or over the grill. I've put them in a perforated grill pan here, and we're gonna place them right over a medium-high grill, or a grill that's preheated to about 400 to 450 degrees, and cook them until they're browned, the shells have opened, and the chestnuts inside are tender. Be sure if you cook them over the coals to shake the pan so that they don't cook just on one side. Once the chestnuts are cooked, let them stand for about five or 10 minutes or just till they're cool enough to handle. It's really important to peel them while they're still hot. Once they cool, removing the inner and outer peel becomes much more difficult. I hope you're as excited as I am to make chestnuts a new part of your family's tradition. From all of us at American Profile and Relish, I'm Brian Morris, happy holidays.